This video will show you how to download and work with the African Storybook Reader app. Available on Android Play Store and Apple iStore. On your phone, go to the Android Play Store. Search for the African Storybook Reader app. Click on the correct app icon and then click on install. Wait for it to download and install on your phone. How to use the African Storybook Reader Find the African Storybook Reader icon. It is a picture of a yellow book. The first time you open the app, it will display the vision of the African Storybook Initiative. At the bottom you will find two tabs, Library and Explore. In the Library section, you will find all the books that are downloaded onto your device. The yellow line indicates that we are currently in the library. There are no books downloaded. In the Explore section, you will find all the approved books available in the African Storybook Collection. Click on Explore. You need to be connected to the internet to explore and download books. For help in this section, click on the three dots in the right hand corner. Here you will find assistance on how to search for books, update the languages in which books are written and how to sort the list of books that are available. In the menu, it also explains the different reading levels for children. There are five reading levels available. To exit the menu, click on the side of the screen. Now you can search for a book. First, select the language that you want to read in by clicking on the top bar. After making a selection, a list with all the books in that language will load. At the bottom of the screen, it will show you how many approved books are available. At the top of the screen, you can choose how the books are sorted in the list. You can choose by title, from A to Z or Z to A, the date it was published, with the latest or the oldest book at the top, or the reading level, with either level 1 or level 5 at the top. I am going to search for a book using the title. The reading levels is indicated in the yellow circles next to the book title. If you are not sure what reading level you need, click on the three dots in the right hand corner and study the different reading levels. With your finger, scroll through the list to find a book to download. To download a book, simply click on the title. The book will download and you can cancel the download by clicking on the yellow cancel button. The storybook will open when it's downloaded to your device. For help in this, the reading section, click on the three dots in the right hand corner. Here you will find assistance on how to navigate through the book. You will also find translations available for this book. To download a translation, click on the applicable language. To exit the menu, click on the side of the screen. To navigate through the storybook, swipe the screen right to left. Or use the sliding bar at the bottom. Put your finger on the yellow button and move it right or left. To remove the grey bars at the top and bottom, simply click in the middle of the page and scroll with your finger. If you want to close the book, click in the middle of the page to display the grey bars. Click on the yellow arrow in the top left corner. To see the books you downloaded, click on the library tab at the bottom of the screen. All the books in the library section can be read offline. For help in this section, click on the three dots in the right hand corner. 
Here you will find assistance on how to sort your library, delete a book from your device, or how to search for books in your library. To exit the help menu, click on the side of the screen. To open a book you've downloaded, click on the book cover. Close the book again by clicking on the yellow arrow in the left hand corner. To delete a book, click on the edit link in the top menu. A red X will appear next to all the books you've downloaded. Click on the X next to the book you want to delete. The app will ask you if you are sure. Click Yes. Happy reading!